Uh, hey guys, welcome to NFL Week 9. Get this set up here. Okay. Um, so, looking at the card this week, um, not an easy one. It's, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of games that um, are tricky. The lines are, are not easy to read. So, um, I'm not going to be giving out five plays like I did last week. I'm sticking to three games this week, which is typically kind of what I want to stick around, um, you know, week to week. So, um, so I'll give out my three plays and then I'm also going to give out a couple other ones as well. Not necessarily ones that I'm playing, but ones that, um, I've got some information from. So take that with a, a grain of salt as well. Um, okay. So first game. And some of these, actually two out of these three seem to be um, borderline square bets, but I'll give you my reasoning behind the picks. So the first game, um, Ravens uh, on the road um, as a two and a half point favorite. So, you know, not going to be um, an easy game, but they're going into Indianapolis and I'm taking Baltimore minus two and a half. In Indy. So I went back and forth with this game. I know Sharp Money and some people that I respect and follow have taken Indianapolis. Um, but you, don't, you don't always have to obviously agree with people that you follow. You don't always obviously have to agree with my picks. Uh, make your own judgment call and if my picks support yours and you want to tail them then great. Um, but Looking at this, this is an interesting game. So the Ravens and Colts, you're going to get a lot of information out of this game for for both teams. Um, and, you know, for, for the Colts, I mean, both these teams are 5-2, and two, but the way they got there seems to be a bit different, right? Like the Colts' schedule has not been great. I mean, they've lost against Jacksonville. They lost against Cleveland. Uh, and they haven't beaten really good teams. I mean, albeit last week they looked good off the bye. They went into Detroit. You know, against an okay team, Detroit isn't great by any means, and, and they killed them. Um, but the Colts haven't beaten any real contender uh, this year. So this is their first real test. So we're going to learn a lot about the Colts because we hear about their defense every week. And what's their defense actually like? Can they stop Lamar Jackson? And, hit, you know, Lamar, I'm not a big Lamar Jackson fan at all. Um, and he hasn't had a, a great year um, compared to his MVP season last year. But, you know, he's going to be better than what the Colts have been facing uh, by and large this year. So we're going to learn a lot about Indianapolis this week. Um, you know, if they get a big defensive effort and Phillip Rivers comes out with another big win, then, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to say Indy is for real. Um, at this point, I don't see Indy as for real. I think they're a playoff team. I don't think they're a serious contender in the AFC at this point. Um so we're going to learn a lot about Indy this week. And the same holds true for Baltimore. I mean, Baltimore, you know, they're not this at the same caliber as they were last year. They have two losses, and they've lost against two of the best teams in the AFC. They lost against the Chiefs. They lost against the undefeated Steelers. And um, it was a good game last week against Pittsburgh. So the Ravens have lost two competitive, against two competitive teams, <clears throat> and they've for the most part, rolled in the <coughs> excuse me in the other games. So we're going to learn a little bit about Baltimore here. Are they going to have a letdown spot after losing against Pittsburgh? Are they going to get back on track? Um, are they going to continue to beat up on mediocre teams and struggle against really good teams? Um, so let's see how they do. How do the Ravens respond after a tough divisional loss against Pittsburgh? So we're going to learn a lot about these teams. I like Baltimore here. I mean, when it's a sh minus two and a half. It's a field goal. It's, a, you know, for the most part, a pick em game. So I'm asking myself, who do I think is going to win? I think Baltimore is going to win. I think they have, I don't think Phillip Rivers is the answer at his age at this point. Um, I think, I still think Baltimore is a more complete team. They're a better coached team. I think their defense is a lot closer than Indies than people think. They're more explosive on offense, a faster moving offense. Uh, they're coming off a loss, and he's coming off a win. You know, I, I like the Ravens here. And I know a lot of sharp people are taking the Colts, but, um, you know, I'm going to take the Ravens out. And the line has actually dropped 
Um, I got them at two and a half. I think it's down to one, one and a half now. So people are taking Indy. Um, give me Baltimore, you know. And the only thing that worries me about Baltimore is half their team um, has COVID, uh, apparently. But, um, listen, I think they're going to get it done. I think offensively they're too much for the Colts to handle. This is going to be the best offense that Indy has faced all year. So that's my first pick. Second pick, I'm going with another road favorite of two and a half. So Seahawks at Bills. Seahawks minus two and a half. Um, so another, I know sharp money is again coming in on Buffalo. Again, maybe it's a square pick, but I'm not overthinking this. Um, I'm going to ride Russell Wilson until he proves me wrong here. Um, situationally, it's a much better spot for Buffalo. There's no question about that. This is a massive sandwich spot for Seattle. They had a big divisional win last week against San Fran. And next week, they play in LA against the Rams. And then they play another divisional game, I believe, against... I think they play Arizona again. So if you go back to um, a couple weeks ago, uh, when they lost against Arizona, four of their five games have been division games. Um, so Seattle's in a, you know, in a scheduling spot, not a great spot. They won a home game against San Fran. They have to go into LA next week against another divisional opponent. And in between all that, they got an East Coast matchup against a non-conference opponent in Buffalo. So not a great scheduling spot for Seattle. Buffalo, on the other hand, um, you know, maybe I just think there's going to be a bit of a hangover effect. They finally beat, they slayed the Dragon, they beat New England last week. You know, for them, it's also a non-conference game. Um, you know, I think the Bills' defense, which is their bread and butter, is overrated. They're built, the defense is not as good as they were last year. And you got to be, you can't be good, you got to be great to stop Seattle. Seattle has scored at least 27 points in every game this year. Russell Wilson is the MVP, in my opinion. I don't know how the Bills keep up in this game. And with a short line, I know Seattle's defense is, isn't any good. And, and that's going to be the question in this game. Can the Seahawks defense do enough to slow down Buffalo? I don't think they'd have to do a whole lot because I think Seattle's offense should get their points against this, I believe, overrated Bills defense. Whether in, in November in Buffalo is always a question. It's going to be an amazing day. We have unseasonably warm weather uh, at the beginning beginning of November I think it's gonna be 65 degrees in Buffalo sunny um, so it's great conditions and Seattle travels well to the East Coast they went into Philly last year and beat them twice they beat them 17-9 they went there in the playoffs and beat them again I don't think it really matters there's these Pacific teams going out east I think we make a bigger deal out of it than it is I'm going with the better team again the Seahawks minus two and a half so I you know, the Ravens and Seahawks seem like square bets. I, I think, at the very least, one of them is going to win this game. But I like them both. So those are my my first two. My third and final one, this game was an interesting one. Because um, I got them at minus four. And then they were off the board. And now they're back on at minus four. And that's the Vikings at home against the Lions. I'm taking Minnesota minus four. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Stafford, I, I don't think he's playing. I think he's on the COVID reserve list. Uh, Galloway hasn't practiced this week. And we know if Galloway doesn't play, um, the Lions, or does, doesn't have a catch, the Lions, you know, they don't do well. So I don't think they're going to have their top receiver. I don't think Stafford's playing. Uh, and Minnesota, that line is still minus four. So I don't know if that's a little bit fishy, but it opened minus four. Then there was news about Stafford coming off, then the, or not playing, and then the game was off the board. And now it's back on at minus four. And to my understanding, Stafford's not playing. So maybe there's not much of a drop-off between him and Chase Daniels, but... Uh, give me the Vikings. I mean, you know, I think in this spot, I mean, it's a short line. And the, and the Lions, if they don't have their quarterback or top receiver, I don't know. I mean, Delvin Cook's rolling. Um, the Vikings have to win a home game. Like, I don't know what's going on here. They, they, they haven't played well at home. This is a spot I like the Vikings, minus four. Um, so <laughs> give me Minnesota. So those are my three. I'm taking the Ravens, minus two and a half. Seahawks minus two and a half, Vikings minus four. Typically don't like to pick road favorites all that often. I like home dogs. I like small home favorites. I like road dogs. I don't really like home road favorites. And, you know, lo and behold, the only game I got wrong last week was a road favorite in New Orleans. And I got two road favorites this week, but they're short lines. They're two and a half. And I think they're the better team, Baltimore and Seattle. I think they're better than their counterparts. Um, so those are my three. Um, I'll give another two games that I kind of like. I'm not betting these games, but we have some information in terms of sharp money coming in. Um, so one of them is Miami. Miami, I know a lot of sharp money is coming on, on the Dolphins in Arizona. Uh, you can get 
Miami around plus four and a half, plus five, something like that. So Miami is, there is sharp money on Miami. So look um, their way. Um, Tampa Bay is another one, um, minus five and a half against, um, against New Orleans for the Sunday nighter. I know sharp money is also coming on Tampa. So look at Tampa, look at Miami. Um, I also know sharp money is coming in on the Chargers against the Raiders, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. The Chargers, I don't like betting teams that continually blow leads, and they've blown leads worse than Atlanta this year. Um, so if I was to play that game, I would take the Chargers, but I'm not playing that game. If I was to play the Sunday night game, I would take Tampa. If I was to bet the Miami-Arizona game, I would take Miami. But they're not super confident picks. Uh, my picks, again, Ravens, Seahawks, Vikings. Um, guys, subscribe. Shout out to Big Re and Ace again for giving me another shout out this week. Subscribe, tell your friends. Let's try to boost this channel and get the subscribers up. Like, comment. Um, good luck this weekend, guys. Enjoy the, if you're on the East Coast, um, enjoy the, the nice weather this weekend and uh, good luck on Sunday.